the governance and the machinery to help run it is the fulcrum of any state government. The most significant aspect of this machinery after its leadership workforce is its infrastructure. The need of the hour for a resource-rich but fledgling state like Andhra Pradesh is the government infrastructure. The philosophy, design and plan for headquarters of the government of Andhra Pradesh, the Secretariat and the heads of department is based on immense research and case studies of government buildings across the world. The exercise has been jointly conducted by one of the world's leading architectural design and engineering firms, Foster Partners and the APCRDA. So what we will have is a design that has no precedence anywhere in India. The power centre of Andhra Pradesh is shaping up and the focus is to create a vibrant, accessible and state-of-art technology infrastructure. Set up around the cultural nuances from the 13 districts of the state, it shall be a tribute to its ancient past and bright future. Just like the government's philosophy, even the Secretariat's design has been kept transparent. The spaces around the government hub will have no barricades, making it truly accessible for all. The zones will be vibrant, featuring walkways dotted by informal commercial zones. Security and surveillance will be technologically advanced and non-invasive. It will give you a pervasive feeling of security even without you realizing it. The approach is to create zones where even families will be able to spend leisure time. The design and structure of government buildings have been envisaged to denote the vernacular culture. These buildings will have strong connection to Amaravati, not just the generic buildings that can be placed anywhere in the world. Traditionally, government offices are spread across the state, increasing the time for approvals and related tasks. So as a solution to this recurring issue, Instead of placing them far away from the Secretariat, departments and their respective divisions will occupy five buildings linked by a connecting corridor. Internally, the departments will be clubbed together stationed on one or two floors. This will enable quick decision-making, expedite policy implementation and facilitate immediate interactions is enabling efficiency in governance. The design and engineering of Secretariat is said to be a benchmark in itself with no equal anywhere in the world. It has got what is called the diagrid structure, a pillar-free design resembling mesh. This enables for maximum utilization of space. The Secretariat building is ergonomically designed to ensure maximum productivity by government employees, while the column-free design gives complete visibility from one corner to the other, it also encourages interaction among employees. To have a healthy workforce, buildings will have gyms and other health facilities. The buildings are designed to comply with platinum rating of Indian Green Building Council. Environment friendliness of structures will be the most crucial aspect of government complexes as they will be self-sufficient on energy, generating 100% renewable energy from a 7.7 square kilometer off-site solar array. A detailed analysis of the environment and history of climate has been done. The buildings are placed such that they can easily welcome in sunlight. While they do that, natural shading for the comfort of workforce will be an important feature. Detailed studies have been done on sunrise and sunset patterns for the last 100 years. As such, the structures have been designed to withstand even the harshest of weather conditions. You will be pleased to know that every building of the government machinery is certified for sustainability, legislature, high court, secretariat and HOD. The legislature shall stand tall at the heart of the Amaravati government city with viewing decks and museum open to public. It's said to be a true icon of the state. The High Court will be a true democratic and cultural landmark for the people. It will have a design that will enable natural light and ventilation, yet will stay shielded from rain and harshness of the sun. Importantly, the Secretariat and the five graceful towers housing the heads of department will be surrounded by public squares with the Palawagu water belt running through its heart. 
Get ready for Amaravati, the people's capital. We are headed to a future of efficiency, the hub of which will inspire even the world's best governments.